Hi everyone and welcome. Today we'll um, talk about Stellan. He's this beautiful um, horse. He's a retired racehorse from Trotting and he founded in November or December 2019. I'm shooting the video July 2020 um, and he couldn't he barely walked until um, we saw him in May uh, 2019, 2020, sorry. So he spent nearly six months struggling, um, uh, first with faria care. So you, we see now the, the x-rays that they did in December. Uh, so that's the full right um, uh, he found it on both front legs. Uh, so the, unfortunately the x-rays are not the best quality, uh, he's still shod and um, I mean it's, it's not very clear, uh, but we see that um, he had a significant um, um, a funder um, uh, moment, uh, I don't remember the term now, um, but you see that the red line is the outer wall and the um, green line is the dorsal wall of p3 they should be parallel and they should be actually uh, closer together and parallel so here he he had a massive uh, sinking it was not as bad on the front uh, left foot so luckily uh, at least he had one foot okay-ish. Uh, so they struggled for uh, yeah, nearly, nearly six months because I was contacted by the owner uh, during the lockdown. I couldn't go to them uh, due to the lockdown and they were um, 600 kilometers away from me. So I couldn't um, go then. One of my um, clients in this region got, um, I mean, she trained in, in, uh, in trimming a little bit, just uh, maintenance trim, and I do the corrective trim for her horses. Uh, and she, so this friend went to them to help with, so that those feet were what the horses, the horse had in uh, uh, mid-May, something like this, and the, he lost his shoes, so I was supposed to take the shoes off when I was coming, um, end of May, but he lost his shoes and he couldn't walk at all anymore. Uh, so the lady, the owner, she ordered um, the um, Easy Boots Clouds um, that are the best for uh, funded horse with the um, thickest pad that they had, uh, but they couldn't fit because of this little piece here so the owner tried to contact the farrier um, to help feed the, the boots, but he refused because she was changing um, technique from what the vet and farriers um, talked about together with the owner for six months because it didn't work. So the owner contacted me and because she contacted me, the farrier didn't want to help with this bit. Um, so luckily, my client went uh, and rescued him and just got the bits here um, off the wall. She didn't really trim anything else because uh, she didn't feel confident at all, but at least um, he was walking again uh, in, the, in the boots because uh, yeah, lying down was what he was doing most of the time, even with shoes, um, uh, metal shoes, but with the boots, he was uh, really, really much better. So. That was really cool, uh, great teamwork. So that's the first foot. So he had to be um, trimmed with the boots on. And if I was putting the foot back down on the ground without the boot, um, he was very uncomfortable. So I had to leave them at all times. The black thing you see on it is not only a uh, thrush, it's also a oil of sorts uh, that the owner ordered um, but when when I came to trim him it was just after lockdown in France uh, 
Um, so a lot of things were not available to us, even um, ordering online and stuff, because she, I, I recommended her products uh, from Red Horse. Um, I recommended Artimed um, for, for this, uh, but she received them like two weeks after I came. So I had to leave her my uh, box of Artimed for, for the time being. Um, so this is like Cade Oil uh, and Thrush uh, because I think Cade Oil, also, also, although it's very efficient, uh, I don't think it's the best solution for enclosed environment. Um, I mean, the, 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 the fruit wasn't so thrushy. Once it's cleaned, you'll see that it's okay-ish, uh, but with the Artimed, it's so much better. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit peeling off. Obviously he's not self-trimming or self-exfoliating because he's in boots 24 seven. I mean, when I saw him, um, he was in boots 24 seven and I believe like it took him a couple more weeks uh, before she could get him 10 minutes out of the boots while she was cleaning them and stuff and he was okay. I mean, she was cleaning them daily um, but it took him a good two weeks after the trim um, so that he could uh, walk again. And now he can spend um, uh, full nights out of them. So that's really good. So yeah, on this foot there is not much to do. I was just um, managing one heel, the other one... Um, was okay and you will maybe see later on in the video the faria previously like rasped a lot of the toe uh, but not from underneath but from uh, uh, like a top dressing style and you can even see I, I will be putting photos later on so that you see the foot obviously because he was um, um, really sensitive I couldn't put the foot down to um, take pictures and stuff uh, from the foot from the top but the 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 faria trimmed a lot and it even went into the yeah what you see here this is chunk of the lamella wedge uh, because he went up there so the reason he did this was because the horse had um, a cd toe so he had to um, resect a lot of the uh, of the front of the foot obviously i wouldn't have done it this way but um, um yeah that's one way to do it um, personally for the cd toe i would have first of all taken off um the the toe uh with my nippers and, and the and the rasp and then I would have treated the CD toe with uh, artimed or, or hoof stuff uh, depending on how it goes but I wouldn't um, have needed to um, cut so much out um, so here <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's so cute um, here I would have liked to have um, uh, the foot cleaned in um, uh, sodium bicarbonate or, or, or baking soda, I think it's also called, before applying the Artimed, um, but we didn't have uh, what was necessary uh, to do it at the time, so the owner did it the day after um, she went to the grocery store and, uh, and then she kept on doing daily um, uh, soaks in uh, soda water and applying um, Artimed and back in the boot. And she was letting the foot dry as well. Um, so yeah, this is what I was talking about. The part that's been rasped off by the farrier previously. So yeah, here I'm being very generous because we couldn't do the the soaking before um, and I didn't know how she would be able to
handle it afterwards. So I wanted to be safe. <laughs> so, uh, but he was working okay. Um, even with with that much Artimed, it didn't bother him so much. At all, actually, um, he was. Um, I I didn't think of. Uh, um, recording when he was walking, uh, coming to me and uh, coming out of the trim, but he was walking uh, slightly better after the trim, uh, but that was more coming from the hind that, than the front legs. Uh, actually, the front, he was okay-ish with the boots. So yeah, and I'm adding also here, because I know that we'll be in boots, so... Uh, Better safe than sorry. So yeah, not much streaming on this foot, um, so to speak. But, you know, trimming is not only about what you take off, it's also what you leave. Uh, so I couldn't um, clean out the fork, the frog, sorry. <laughs> fork is the French. <laughs> way of, of calling the frog uh, because although it's it's large there is very very little uh, material on it so you know even though he doesn't exfoliate by himself you can't just I mean on this one I just couldn't go uh, around with my knife and uh, and take take off um, frog because there was very little uh, material before the aquarium So yeah, that's the least affected hoof by the fonder, and you will see that um, it looks much better. But he's obviously he was very difficult to trim on this one um, because the the front uh, right is hurting, and he was difficult for the back. Um, Wait, I'm, yeah, I'm correct. Uh, he was difficult also for the back left foot uh, because putting weight on the front right uh, was difficult. But he's really sweet, honestly. I mean, for what he's been through, you can feel that he, he wasn't confident. Plus, he didn't know me. He wasn't confident. He, I mean, he, you could feel that he, he was scared of... Um, of having his feet hurting or stuff like here he's struggling a little but really really little he's i mean he for for, for care and, and trim and stuff i think he's a golden horse because um maybe he understands that we're there to help uh, but he's been in pain for several months because he was i mean he he, he barely walked um he was standing up barely half days uh, during the day before that, so uh, he's been struggling a lot and yeah, they're so sweet. So here you, you see the same black stuff, so that's thrashy thing, plus this oil, remember it's not only thrush, I mean it didn't stink so badly that... Um, it would lead me lead me to believe that it's only thrush because if it, all this black would have been the just thrush, I mean, I think I would have fainted from the from the smell. Uh, but as you see, once clean, the 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 sole is okayish. Um, the white line, uh, although um, uh, because of the fonder, the it's it's stretched is okayish. Is not uh, so so bad. The 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 frog, I mean. Yeah, it's not beautiful, but that's okay-ish. Um, but I don't know where he's been shot before because they don't have pictures uh, and and they don't remember the, the terms. Um, but I think he was with the plate. I don't know. I mean, he was shot reverse shoe, uh, as you saw on the, on the um, X-ray and with the plate. Um, also, I think, but I don't know what the farrier put under the plate. Um, in France, it's not common to, to, 
I mean, to put treatment and dental impression um, material or artimed or something to clean under the plate. So I don't think um, he was being treated in between and she didn't do any uh, treatment in between uh, the Farrier's appointment. So I don't think. Um, I think that that's also why he has so little frog material because uh, if it's been infected for a while, then the, the tissue can't regrow. Um, I mean, that's my understanding of it. We'll see later on as we do while uh, I'll do the second trim in a few weeks now. So I go there every two months um, because that's uh, yeah, that's a schedule. Uh, they're quite far away from me, so I have 80 something horses 600 kilometers away from me, so <clears throat> from where I live. Uh, so I go there every two months. Um, and for this horse in between, the um, a client I spoke about at the beginning um, is, um, is going for a uh, maintenance trim just to make sure that it's okay. Um, and I also guide her through uh, photos and videos um, to help her make the best. I mean, she she's not uh, she she she's not useless person. She's she's really doing her best. Um, I think she has a very good understanding of what to do. Uh, she just is shy to remove as much toe as I do, for example, which I understand, and I prefer that she does less than too much. Um, especially on this horse. So she just goes to rasp around the, um, the outer wall. Um, so yeah. And it's thanks to her actually that um, he was able to be in boots before I came. Um, which um, I came like a week or 10 days after um, this client went to help. Uh, because it was difficult for um, me to come up, I'm, I'm impossible. Yeah, so <laughs> you don't have the rest of the, the front left because I decided that putting my camera <laughs> away was a good idea, but keep filming. So that was funny for me to see what uh, clients usually see <laughs> when I'm trimming. It's the first time I see myself in this position, so <laughs> that was funny. So here are the back feet. Um, he was without shoes for a while on the back feet, so there is not much uh, to see there. So that's my super technique with the tail. I know most of you <laughs> must use this technique, but that's a lifesaver because otherwise I'm with the um, hair everywhere. Uh, so yeah, not much. This uh, hind foot was the most difficult to do because um, it was putting uh, more weight on his right front, which is the uh, most sunken uh, foot. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's okay. His hinds are okay. And he was uh, actually better after the trim um, with the hind, so that was good. But there wasn't much um, distortion. Uh, I mean, he's flaring on the outside. He's slightly, slightly uh, valgus, uh, so we're wearing more on the inside, straighter. Um, uh, his internal wall is straighter, and the outer wall is... Um, flaring but that's um, I, I I think we'll see with time but I think it's a conformational um, flaring so I'll just uh, accompany it I didn't do a, a big big corrective trim for his hinds because first he didn't really need it and he's already struggling with his front feet so I can't uh, mess up so much with his uh, back feet so you see that the hind left is um, more balanced than the hind wait the hind right is more balanced than than the hind left the one we saw previously um, i believe this is due to um, the founder uh, that was uh, stronger on the front 
right so he um he helped and 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 uh, and supported a lot of weight with his hind left um to help and i think that's why the hind left is in worse shape than the hind right maybe that could be something else huh? it's just uh, thinking out loud so yeah beautiful little feet i sped i sped the, the hind feet up because um i mean there wasn't really anything challenging with the hind feet there quite okay so that's the front uh, left which is the best out of the two um, and yeah that's the evolution so that's uh, the um, the previous picture wait let me find it again the previous picture is from uh, December no 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 no. I'm, I'm, no no this this picture is from May 2020 and this one is from June 2020. So what you can see is the way the farrier rests at the front. But now what you can see, and he grew a lot of foot in quite um, a small amount of time. So that must have been beginning. So the previous picture was probably beginning of 2020, of uh, May 2020. And this was a um, few days ago, so end of June 2020. So let's say two months uh, in between uh, with two, uh, I mean, one of my trims and one of my um, uh, client's trim as well. Uh, and you can see that the white, the um, green line um, following the dorsal wall is much tighter than the red line. So that's really, really good sign. Um, and now he's starting to uh, crack because he's growing foot. Um, so that's, that's really cool. And the next picture is the front left from underneath. So you can see that it is much cleaner. Um, I mean, there is a lot of artimed uh, on this picture, uh, but it is cleaner. Um, the, the, the wall is a little bit tighter and, and, and stronger. The sole looks better. Can't say much for the frog, but it looks like there is a little bit more material, but I'm not sure. I need to, to, to be there in person to make sure um, of it. And I've advised to put some more artimed uh, between the heel bulbs uh, to uh, prevent any thresh going up there too much the heels have grown a lot uh, so that will need to be addressed otherwise that's really cool so that's the front right um, so beginning of may 2020 uh, and you can see here is the lamella wedge um, that they rasped uh, so yeah here is a big big chunk taken off at the toe so that's why um, in my trim if you go back um, in, in for, for the first uh, foot you'll see that I don't need to trim the toe so much because there's no toe <laughs> um, yeah that's Cade oil yeah that's uh, to highlight it and that's Cade oil that uh, she was putting so it's grown also a lot so the previous uh, picture was from beginning of May 2020. This is from end of uh, June 2020. And you see that it's grown um, uh, yeah, a, a, a fair amount. And we see that he had two abscesses, massive abscesses. So from the coronary band, I'd say that the first one was from maybe a month and a half ago and this one, this one from a month ago. Um, so he didn't show lameness. That's the uh, front right. I mean, it's very, very light, but you can see that, um, yeah, that's, that's better. He needs a good trim, obviously. But that's much, much better. 
and that's him walking. So what's really good is that the owner is so involved um, because this, this big horse funded um, and no one knew uh, it really was a founder, uh, even the vet and the farrier and stuff, because he was, I mean, he was not as skinny as now, but he wasn't huge or anything. Um, so that's why they discovered uh, after what I was a medical founder, because he was under treatment for something else. Um, I mean, his metabolism is completely out of order at the moment because he was uh, under medication before the funder and under medication during the funder for the funder and for the other problems. So it, it, and I, the abscesses, I think, are due to this because he was so loaded um, that he needed to get rid of some uh, nasty stuff. But the owner created... a um, track system for him and for the friend so they have the I mean there's still grass there because they did it last minute you know when when they called me uh, they asked what's the best living arrangement for him and I said yeah that would be a track system okay we'll do it and I came and there was a track system um, so yeah that's the friend and she has a big big uh, lump on the belly uh, due to a um, fight with Coz, um, I think she's a rescue. So yeah, that was the pleasure of uh, the day to see him walking happily in his track system. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm really happy for him. Thank you guys.